Hello and welcome to this very special holiday Haas tip of the day. Now, I'm a machinist and I love to make things. I like to write programs and watch my CNC machines run. But oftentimes I'll bring home those amazing parts that I've made and my wife and my family just aren't excited about these things like I am. I mean, these parts are amazing. They might end up in space or on a race car. Well, in this tip of the day, we're gonna show you how you can show off those machining skills and make some incredible holiday gifts that people are really gonna appreciate and use. Imagine it's Christmas morning and your in-laws are getting ready to open up your gift. Now, the first thing that they'll notice is the amazing wax seal on the top. They're not even gonna to wanna to pull on the string and ruin that beautiful wax seal. Eventually they will and they'll open the box. Now what they'll find is your gift. Now this is what I plan on doing for, for Christmas. I'm gonna make custom wax stamps. Now this is a gift that even your mother is gonna like. Now when I decided to make wax stampers as Christmas gifts, I decided I was only going to machine out the end part that would be engraved with the initials of my friends and family. So I went around the shop and I found some remnant pieces of brass left over from a demo like five years ago. Now I've got both a lathe and a mill. So I went ahead and turned out these little knobs on my lathe. We could have just as easily machined them out completely on the mill. Just walk around the outside with an end mill then walk around it again with a ball nose to create those contours. Once these blanks are prepared, I just drop them into a set of soft jaws. And then I ran across the top with a face mill, giving myself a really nice surface finish. Then I came in with my engraving tool and machined that top surface. I used a single lip engraving tool, but you can just use whatever the smallest end mill is that you've got laying around. You can even use a really tiny spot drill. Those engrave pretty well. We're done engraving, so now I'm gonna use a, uh, a mold maker's best friend, Silly Putty. I'm gonna go ahead and work it back and forth in my hand, and then use it to check our engraving before we, before we pull it out of the vise, just to make sure that everything looks like it should. Now that looks really good, and uh, one thing to make note of here is that it's readable here, but it's mirrored image on our part. Because we're making a mold, be sure to, to reverse your image while you machine it so your wax stamp comes out looking the way it should. Now it's time to show off my, my finished product. All I've got to do is screw on this stamp head that I had made earlier and already cleaned up. Now as I'm doing this, I just want to mention that I didn't tap these parts until I'd already bought the cabinet knobs. I didn't know what thread to tap, and that's always a good idea. Don't make these things and make a bucket of them until you've found out what thread the knobs are, 832, 1024, that type of thing. Um, and when I bought my knobs, I actually made an effort to get knobs that had the same thread so I didn't have to change out my tap constantly. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my silly putty down here again so I can uh, show off some of this beautiful uh, craftsmanship here. Now, I'd like to see what you guys do. So go ahead and send us a picture of anything that you've made as a Christmas present or as a holiday gift. You can send those emails to TOD, tip of the day, TOD at HaasCNC.com. Also be sure if you're watching this on YouTube to comment in the comment section and let other people know what kind of gifts um, you've been able to make in your own machine shop. That's it. Thanks for, for letting me uh, show you this, uh, this great project that I've done and uh, for watching this Haas Tip of the Day.